Hello everybody and welcome to Resident Evil 7, which is kind of remarkably the first time I'm playing a Resident Evil game on this channel. Uh, especially when you consider what a big horror fan I am and what a big horror series Resident Evil is. It's kind of weird, it's kind of odd, but that's just the way it works out sometimes. Plus, you know, this is a new release, a lot of people want me to play this game, and um, as many of you probably know, this is going to be vastly different from any of the previous Resident Evil games in the series, even the classics, so it's not going to be like set in a mansion with fixed camera angles and tank controls, but it's also not going to be like Resident Evil's 4, 5, and 6, where it's a sort of third-person, over-the-shoulder shooter. This is actually an FPS, set somewhere in backwoods of, like, Louisiana, I believe. Um, it seems to take influences from games like uh, PT, Layers of Fear, Outlast, and, um... I think the story is going to resemble something like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So it seems, at least on the face of it, that it's got all the right ingredients for a great horror game. But maybe not a great Resident Evil game, you know? But here's the thing, I think Capcom, with this game, are sort of, like, rebooting the series. I think, at the very least, this is a soft reboot, so we're probably not going to be seeing Jill, Chris, Leon, Claire, Wesker, all those old Resident Evil characters that we know and love from the previous games. Yeah, I think they've sort of wiped the slate clean and they, they want to try something new. They want to try something different. Is different good? Well, I suppose we're about to find out. Hope you enjoy it. Let's start a new game. And let's choose normal difficulty. Yeah. I just wanted to send a quick hello, and I love you. Oh, good news. I'm going to be coming home soon. Yay! Oh, I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job and come home to my loving husband. I miss you. Oh, I, I got to get back to work. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. Bye, baby. Ethan. You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have... All I can say is that if you get this... Stay away. Don't we get the guy with the big booming voice to say, like, Resident Evil 7? Oh, that's a shame. Hello? Hey, it's, uh, it's Ethan. Oh, hey. You alright? You just disappeared the other night. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead, she's alive. She, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. And maybe it's a prank, but she wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. Dude, it's been three years. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. Oh, right! <laughs> a nice seamless transition from cutscene to gameplay there. And, uh, yeah, this is definitely giving me an Outlast vibe. <laughs> Especially just because of this opening. We'll park in here. We're done. Okay. We've made it. We have arrived. Now, uh, when's it all gonna go wrong? I'm guessing in about five minutes' time. This is the place. This is the place, apparently. Must have a good sat now. Oh, there you go. Yep, that's the place over there. Probably featured on all the uh, the game artwork and the posters. Right, now before we really get into the nitty gritty of this game, I should make something very, very frank. I have actually seen some leaked footage of this game before. Maybe about two weeks ago now. I think somebody got their hands on a copy of the game early, and I think they leaked pretty much the entire game to the internet. And um, kind of accidentally, I saw some of this footage, thinking actually that it was maybe like work in progress footage of Outlast 2. Um, but some of the leaked footage that I've seen, honestly, it, it's it's very, very odd. It doesn't really feel too much like Resident Evil, but it, it, 
I don't know. I, I don't want to spoil anything, really. It's just, it's just weird, it's just odd, and half the reason I'm playing this game, actually, is to just kind of get some context as to what I saw. No files, apparently. Okay. And uh, a fairly small map. That would be my objective over there. Find Mia. Right. Well, yeah, we're in the right place. I'm guessing she is here somewhere. Okay. I've got to say, this is silky smooth so far. It's a pretty decent looking game. Obviously, I'm, I'm playing the, uh, the PC version. And even while recording, 1080p and everything. Pretty high settings. It's, uh, it's staying above 60 FPS. Ah, damn. Not getting in that way. No padlock or anything. Okay, we climbing the fence or, uh, hang on. Ah, we could use this. Intercom, yeah. Shit. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work, but there you go. Uh, okay, so what can we do? Seems that we can actually sort of sprint. We can run a little bit. That is not jump. <laughs> that is uh, cower in fear. Put your arms up to protect yourself, I guess. Can we crouch? Oh, we can crouch with C. Okay. Uh, sure. What's this? Tripods? Oh. I think I might know what's going on here. Yeah. Um. Might be... Oh, here we go. This might be to do with the demo? What's that down there? Sewer Gators, episode 17, sneak into a Louisiana ghost house. <laughs> okay. Cool. That's actually quite a nice way of examining items. Yeah, I like it. Join us. Right, yeah, if you've played the demo, this is going to make some sense, I suppose. Um, I don't know if we'll be going through the bit in the demo, in the main game. We probably will. Um, I should say, I did actually play the demo to this back when it originally came out last year, a few months ago now. I think it's been updated since, but I, I haven't played any of the updates because, to be honest, I, I wanted to keep myself as in the dark as possible. You know, aside from looking at the, the leaked footage, I, I think I have done that. I don't know too much about the game, but, uh, yeah. From the early reviews that I've been seeing on Steam, it looks like this is sort of an instant classic. Hi there. Right, so, yeah, I think this game is going to revolve around a, a family. And I think I just saw a member of that family right there. Disappearing into a tree, maybe. <laughs> okay. You know what else this is kind of reminding me of, actually? And it's, uh, I've just recently watched it. it was, it's True Detective Season 1. I didn't watch it when it was originally released. I just recently marathoned it, and wow, that was good. It was uh, definitely worth watching. <laughs> shit. Holy shit, yeah, True Detective. <laughs> okay. Those like crows over there. What are they eating? Carcasses? Ah. Oh yeah. Couple of um, <laughs> couple of spare legs, I suppose. They couldn't quite fit it on this thing. This is crazy. Yeah. Okay. We go around. We crouch. Oh, we go under it. <laughs> oh man! All right. Lovely, lovely start to the game. Now, if you're not familiar with me and my uh, relationship with the Resident Evil series, I should say um, I've played one, I've played two, I've played zero, loved them all. Um, I actually recently got one and zero's sort of remake on Steam. I haven't played them yet, but um, they might be future playthroughs, honestly. Uh, I didn't play... Well, I, I played a little bit of Nemesis, Resident Evil 3. I think I played a little bit of, like, Code Veronica. Kind of enjoyed it. I did enjoy this sort of other soft reboot that the series had with Resident Evil 4. I thought that was a, a nice change of pace, and was probably one of my favourite um, GameCube games, honestly. Hello? Alright, okay. Ah, driver's licence? Oh yeah, oh, nice. Is that Mia? Like, oh, hang on. It might have been. Let it go. Oh, oh t hang on. Ah, here's our inventory, and we've got a couple of things. So that's the driver's license. What's this? The email from Mia, right. Who's been missing for three years. That's kind of crazy. Can we have a look at it? I guess that would be examined. All right. Yep, from Mia Winters, July 18th, 
Dolby, Louisiana, Baker Farm, come get me. And that's it. That's why I'm here in the first place. Did I even get that video from her? I guess I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Let's have another look at that driver's license, though. I think it was her. Yeah. Seems to be. So what, that bag's been on the floor for like three years? And she mentioned that she was lying, so she wasn't like babysitting or anything? What the hell was she doing? Hmm. Uh, where was I? Yeah, Resident Evil 4 I really liked. I played Resident Evil 5 with a friend, co-op. That was a lot of fun. Um, wasn't quite as good as Resident Evil 4, I thought, but um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I didn't really touch Resident Evil 6. Uh, I, I think I watched my friend play through the first 20 minutes or so. Um, I never actually had the game myself, but he said it was a bit too action orientated and he didn't really much care for it, so I haven't actually played it. But you never know, maybe I'll give it a second chance sometime. And that's pretty much it. And yeah, this has been very, very different to all of those games so far. Have we got like a uh, <laughs> flashlight or something? That's unbelievably dark. Was that me? Was that one of the buttons I was pressing on the keyboard? And who closed that door anyway? Locked as well? Son of a bitch. Okay. Damn indeed. Good thing I do have a flashlight. And yeah, I don't think that was anything to do with me. I think you just put it on automatically. Um... I might actually know where I am. I think this might be from the demo. Yeah, yeah. It was a few months ago that I last played it, but I think I remember the layout of this place. Uh, around here is a kitchen. Yeah, yeah. And there's a... Uh, right, that this is all chained up. We're going to need to get rid of this. There's something important in there, and I don't know what it is. But I don't think we'll be cutting it open with a driver's license, so we'll, uh, we'll have to come back later, I think. Right, okay. Very, very cool. I like a lot of the details in this game. It's got a great look. It just, it really doesn't feel like a Resident Evil game, that's the thing. Ah, oh, what is that? Ah, oh, fuck, fuck! <laughs> Not even the subtitles wanted to stick around with that one. Ah, uh, yeah. What's that over there? Got anything good? Oh, it's a newspaper. Right. Over 20 missing in two years. Is that it? Yep, just that. That whole paper, and that's all I want to read. Something over here? Oh, a couple of things. Okay, uh... Ooh! What's that? A photo? Okay. You see, I may have examined all this in the demo, like, months ago, but I can't remember it too well. So, this is kind of new to me. Silhouette of someone. Hmm. Maybe Mia? I don't know. Oh, oh for this draw, we need a key. Alright, again, I'll have to come back, because the driver's license isn't going to do it. Uh, let's see, anything else? I think we're going to have to find a fuse, if I'm remembering correctly. I think there's a problem with a fuse box, as there is with most games. Especially horror games. The Penumbra series in particular. Fine dining. Is that a crow? A couple of crows, I think. Lovely. Oh, I dread to think what you got in the fridge. Oh, that looks amazing. Amazingly disgusting. <laughs> that is a really, really nice detail. Just that, oh, it's stretched out. and That's brilliant. That really is. That's disgusting. I love that. <laughs> uh, right. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. What did I do in the demo? What, what do I need to do? Let's actually go upstairs. I don't think this is actually where we need to go. Not right now, but I just want to explore. I seem to remember there being mannequins here. Hmm. Stairs? Right, yeah, I think this is why we need the fuse. Because this isn't going to work. Yeah, it's not responding. Okay. What's this? Right. Aha! Okay, so I did need to come up here because I did need to find this. I think this is the majority of the demo that we've picked up here. <laughs> we'll get to that in a moment. We've also got a tape player here, but we don't have a... Oh, we don't need a tape! This must be the new typewriter. This is how we save. Cool. All right, well, I'll keep that in mind. I guess I'll come back to this a little bit later on. I don't think I'm going to finish the video quite yet. I'm just getting started, really. 
Okay, uh, that seems to be pretty much all we get up here. We are... Okay, so we do have a, a sort of map of this place. I guess we're sort of making it as we as we go along. That's pretty neat. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you get the blue doors, the ones we can open. The grey doors we haven't tried yet. The red doors are locked. That's that's pretty neat. And we actually note down, you know, various little puzzle things as well. Cool. Cool. What's in here? Nothing? Nothing at all. It's kind of weird. I think it's this way, and I think there's a door to the right. It goes into some sort of, like, dining area. There's a television. But it's not here. Can we get this off? No. Nah, bit of a shame. Yeah, you know what? I mean, so far, so good. It's playing remarkably well, considering what a good-looking game this is. And the controls feel good. Everything looks pretty good. Maybe this is the change that the Resident Evil series needed. I don't know. Now that, to me, kind of looks like it might be Mia. I can't tell. Hmm. That could be Mia's legs. <laughs> I'm just seeing Mia everywhere now. Uh, yeah. Or maybe one of the other 20 people that went missing. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. So there is a missing fuse. Um, I don't remember exactly where it is. Oh. Spooky. You must be really bad at playing. Okay. Some sort of, like, prison door, it looks like. Right. Uh, yeah, can we have a look at this? Yes, I think this is the family. Yeah, it looks like the owners. And I think that man there may have been the one that we saw walking through the woods. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to pretend for the meantime that I don't know what's in the fireplace. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the VHS on this VCR. Boo indeed. How did you find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right. Getting some nice angles. A repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. This new guy? I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. New plan. We do a walkthrough of the inside first, then we shoot the intro. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely got a found footage look to it right now. This is really neat. This is very cool. I love some of the details in this game. Are we rolling? All right, let's go. Locked. Get out of the way. It's locked. <laughs> Not anymore. Nothing that some brute force and ignorance can't solve. So there you go. So, why are we in hell this time? <laughs> <laughs> Who's holding the camera? I guess it's on my shoulder or something. Ooh, is it haunted? Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? <laughs> Just telling the truth. Putting you in your place. <laughs> What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. Oh, it's still chained up. Okay. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, Lovely. Uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not hillbillies, the Bakers. Still Jack locked. And Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. 
Oh, it's the same stuff. <laughs> Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? He's gone, hasn't he? Andre? Andre! Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? I didn't actually, no. I was inspecting the, uh, the lovely food they had on offer. Unfucking believable He's gone walkabout. This is the last time I worked with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but... Uh, a good cameraman like you, Clancy? You stick with me. Is he upstairs? He... I, I actually don't remember. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. I won't spoil anything. Yeah, I'm going to want to stick with this guy. I kind of need his light. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? I did. From in there? Something playing on the television, maybe. Oh, sorry. You have to do it, don't you? Yeah, there you go. Andre? I don't know. I'm really getting a feeling like I'm being watched or something. Very paranoid. Is the fuse still out of it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Can I play the piano? Nah. <laughs> I'm not a pianist this time. No VCR this time either. Weird. Ah, here we go. Yeah, this is where we discover what's in the fireplace. There's a little handle there. That opens up a secret passageway. All right, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. <laughs> I'm actually completely with you on that one. If I was in this situation, that is exactly what I'd do. Apart from the bit where you crawl into the secret passageway, there's no way Andre did this. There's no way. Oh man, yeah, I'm remembering this now. You first. Me? <laughs> of me coming down the ladder. Oh, right, right. So, uh, you first. Yeah. <laughs> Good excuse. Yeah, you know what, I'll give you that one. That's, uh, that's not bad as far as they go. <laughs> See you in a moment. Right. Long way down, bloody hell. What do you see? What is it? Uh the end of the Blair Witch Project, I think. That's him, isn't it? Andre? Yeah, whoa. Ah! Was he like drinking blood from the pipe there or impaled on it or Oh, that was it? Jesus. Oh, okay, I thought there was actually more to that. To be honest, uh, yeah, in the demo, I think there was a, another little section, but maybe that's going to come later on in the main game, who knows. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but that was just to teach me exactly what to do next, and that is to show me that there was a handle right here. So, we're going to make exactly the same mistake. Go through this secret passageway. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Those cockroaches. Yeah, a lot of the details I bloody love. Still doesn't feel like a Resident Evil game. But I don't think it really needs to. They're doing something different, and different, so far, it seems, is good. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, come on. This is why you should have metal ladders, not wooden ones. Damn it. Okay. Now I'm just thinking... This actually might be new. I don't know if I did this in the demo. Right, no bodies. We do have a blood stain. Yeah. I think something was coming out of that pipe. I don't know if he was impaled on it or what, but it just looked kind of weird. It's like drinking blood from it. Yeah, I don't remember this. Maybe it was in the demo. Maybe I'm misremembering it, but I think this is new. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Thankfully, we're keeping the flashlight just above the water. Oh, look at that. That is a lovely detail. Making the hands wet and the arms wet. Got a lot of, uh, a lot of care and effort into this game, it seems like. 
Right. Can we crouch at all? <laughs> no. That's uh, probably for the best. Where are we going? It's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe this is the way into the main building. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's just get out of the water, shall we? we whoa, whoa! Oh, shit. There he is, I think. Isn't that the guy? Oh, bloody hell. Right, I'm just going to move past you. And, yeah, back onto dry land. What's all this about? Are these the missing people? There you go. Still wet. Nice. And unlocked. Here we go. I'm really, really enjoying this so far. And I actually really like the way that there's no UI. Nothing to really distract you. It's a good look. And yeah, I'm fairly sure this wasn't in the demo. What do we got here? Oh, look at all those dirty needles. It's like a modified sharps box now at that point, that toilet. Right. I saw a photo of this. This is the uh, sort of prison door? Is that what it is? Mia? Mi wait, really? Can't be. Ah, oh, no. No. Driver's license isn't going to do it, and nor is a VHS tape. We're going to need to find something to, uh, to cut the chain. That can't be Mia. <laughs> we can't do it that soon. We can't find her that quickly. Oh. To be honest, I think I've just—I think I just found them. Yeah, bolt cutters, right? I think yeah, these were in the demo, but I don't think they were down here. I think they were on the first floor or something. There you go. And what was this that I walked past? Ben dead. Harold turned. Arthur turned. All these people. Clancy, L, L. What does L mean? Mia. Mia's right at the top there. She doesn't actually have anything next to her name. These must be the 20 or so people that were missing. Might even, might even be more than 20. Damn. Yeah. Looks like they did their research. What the hell are they doing? <laughs> and does this have any connection to, like, the Umbrella Corporation? Zombies? Or a Boros or anything? Maybe? I guess only time will tell. Right. Let's see if we can cut this chain. There you go. So am I right in saying that we've only actually got eight slots for my, like, entire inventory? And what's this space down here for? Maybe I can get some more slots. Maybe I can find a bag or something, but yeah. Can we, like, drop stuff? Hmm, dunno. Okay. They seem to deal with that chain pretty well. Look at this. Who is it? Is it Mia? Mia. Oh, thank God I found you. It's me. It's She's alive? Ethan? Jeez. Ethan? After three you years? Alive? You shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Someone did. Did anyone see you? Did he see you? Hey, who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? Daddy? We need to go now! <laughs> Who's Daddy? The guy in the photo? Right, okay. Well, I'm I'm flabbergasted, honestly. And I don't say that word often. I I thought she would be dead, or I wasn't expecting to find her so soon. Someplace safe. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I suppose time flies when you're having fun. Now I'm really paranoid. Ooh, maybe for good reason. I don't think we're being followed. But something has to go wrong, you know? What is this place? What'd they do to you? Not now. We need to get out of here first. I think it's this way. How about we go the way we came? Because, you know, I could give you a boost up the ladder. I don't like going into the unknown. <laughs> oh, man. What the fuck? What's that? Oh, all the surgical equipment. Very dirty. I bet all this isn't sterilized. Yeah. 
Mia, we have to talk. That message you sent me. Not me. That wasn't me. But you did. I didn't. Okay, fine. Just tell me what's going on. I'm telling you everything that I know. We have to go this way. Right, okay. Um, I, I guess, you know, since the bolt cutters were in a different place than they were in the demo, maybe the fuse will be as well, so maybe I should be paying close attention to the shelves and stuff down here. You never know. Mia, are you sure you know where you're going? The family used to bring me food through here. I remember. The family. Daddy. What the fuck did they do to you? <laughs> I guess, you know, after three years imprisoned, maybe you've got some sort of weird Stockholm Syndrome or something? There. It's there. Right. I'm, I'm so paranoid, I just keep looking over my shoulder expecting someone to be following me and like, I don't know. This is it. Someone's gonna club me over the back of the head or something, you know? That's what I feel is gonna happen. I remember this room. Okay, There's good for you. I'm sure of it. All right. How was that? It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, we're going to be a family now that you're here. Speaking of family, I think that might be one of the family members. I'm sure of it. Oh. What's up with you? I guess the three years have taken their toll, right? So there's a door here. You're not talking about this one, I assume. Uh, what's that? Let's, oh, there's a doll down here. Okay. Nothing too special about it? Is that meant to be... I don't think it's meant to be Mia or anything, is it? What about this one? No? Were there children here as well? Ah! No, oh. Jesus. Mia. What the... Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Oh, that was the doorway that disappeared, I guess. Right, right, fucking hell. <laughs> okay, is Sonic the Hedgehog part of this family? That was really, really quick. Um, okay, just give me a sec, just give me a sec. Is there anything else to have a look at here? Before I start chasing my wife down? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. <laughs> was it Daddy that came and, like, dragged her off or something? Maybe, maybe. Up the stairs? Yeah, sure. Just want to leave the basement, really. Now, I don't trust that door. <laughs> if I was ever going to be clubbed over the head, it's when I walk through that door there. Still not getting followed. Here we go. Right. No sign of Mia. Where the hell did she go? What's this? Alright. Uh, sheets. Fair enough. Close that up. Can we open any other drawers now? Okay, so I guess in this game, if there's anything in the second, third, or like fourth drawers and stuff, we're never going to find it. It seems we only really have a look at the first and top drawers, you know? Or oh, a phone, please. Let it be working. 911, come on. Ah! Nothing. Brilliant. Brilliantly convenient. Yeah. Yeah, same thing here. Just the top one. Oh. Oh, I guess that was my map. Okay. Sure. Uh, let's take a look. Alright. Ah, oh, I see. This is three floors in total. The basement. That's pretty cool. Yep, so we're just sort of filling in the gaps. All the faded areas are the ones we haven't been to yet, I suppose. Cool. So, right, there's a bathroom up to my left. Let's go have a look at the bathroom, I suppose. And, yeah, have a look. Have a look for my wife as well. <laughs> okay, that looks like a, a toilet this time rather than a shower's box. No water, though. Really, really grimy living conditions. What's that? First aid med. Or, like, first aid spray? <laughs> so... Don't really like the sound of that. Uh, yeah, um, let's just have a look at this. 
Oh, stackable items. That's pretty nice. So, yeah, I'm just wondering about this. Because, I mean, we've got eight slots for the rest of the game. Well, we've got eight slots for now, anyway. All right. Okay, I guess there are certain things we can just get rid of. This isn't one of them. That probably would be. Yeah, okay, so it's lit up. Cool, cool. What's that? Oh, we can combine items as well. So, yeah, there are a lot of Resident Evil-like things in this game. It just doesn't look, feel, and play like one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not buying it. Let's just let's just go through here. Yeah, this is the locked door, wasn't it? It still is. Fuck, so... I've got nowhere else to go. Could be Mia, I guess. This is really creepy. <laughs> okay. Go on. I think it was someone knocking on this door. Oh, better go down and have a look. What the fuck is that? And why can I only move at a centimeter an hour? God. Oh. I think she's turned. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> she oh fuck. <laughs> Resist! Oh fucking <laughs> Resist more! Oh wait, hold that down or Oh shit, did I not resist? Ow. I didn't know whether to click or hold that down, to be honest. Wait. Okay. Wait. Ah, Jesus Christ! I don't know what to do. I, I'm not sure if this is a cutscene or gameplay, I'm, and I'm really failing. I might be, I might be about to die. I'm not sure. Jesus Christ! Ah! I don't know if that could be avoided, really. Wait. I can hear her. I can feel her clawing her way back inside of me. Get out! Ooh. Leave me alone! I've been back. I deserve this. Ooh. And she's in a coma. What the fuck are you, Mia? What the fuck are you indeed? Right. Oh, so it's control to use first aid? <laughs> okay. What, so just spilling that on you prevents the stigmata that you just had? Sure. Sure. Okay. That's pretty neat. So we don't, like, have any health bars or anything? Nothing like that. Nothing that signifies that on the screen anyway. I guess it's just the amount of blood on the screen. So I guess we're okay now. We're probably, uh, we're probably fine. Can we go through this now? Or, I don't know. Are we just going to leave her there? I mean, I guess we can't do that, right? Maybe we should put her somewhere. Hey. Uh-oh. Oh, God, she's back again. What the fuck? Insane strength. Oh, God. I would if I could. I really would. <laughs> oh, an axe? Right? Really? Wow. All uh... right. Do I have to kill her? I'm trying. Oh, bloody hell. Ow! Oh, bloody hell, what's going on? Ah, fuck. Let's see, I, I really don't know like what part of this is gameplay and what part is this meant to happen and everything. I guess that's the problem with the UI, in a way. I mean, can I just like sit back, relax, and watch? Or can I... Ooh! Ooh! Plunge an axe into my wife! Oh my god. Well, now you've gone and done it. Jesus Christ. Jeez. Okay. Phone call? Now? Really? Oh. Nice pool of blood under her head as well. Okay, I don't think she's coming back now. Fuck. Right, well, I've, I've killed my wife, who I came here to find after three years, so... <laughs> I guess all I need to do now is escape. 
And I will answer that phone in a moment. Nothing in there. Okay, and that's it? That's it. Okay. Right. You're not gonna get up again, are you? Who is that? What's this? And what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic? Go there. Now. The attic? Right. How? The door's locked. Or maybe not. <laughs> that might be the door in question, honestly, that just opened. Bullshit. Mia's up and about again? You know what, I, I guess it wasn't Daddy that dragged her off. It was probably Mia just turning and smashing through that fucking wall last time, wasn't it? Yeah. Jesus, okay. So this is my weapon of choice in this game. Bloody axe. Nice. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's go back into the, the sort of main portion of the house. And I suppose, I don't know, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Maybe you should put some of that on your shoulder, where you were stabbed a few times. Just a thought. Um, right. Yes. Okay. So the attic. Staircase is there. Well, it looks like I have to go up to the second floor to get there. Let's give it another look. Oh, it's that button, of course. It's for the stairs, isn't it? And these are the stairs. This is why I need to find that fuse. Right. Oh! I think I actually might know where the fuse is. But I think that's going to have to happen next time, because right now I'm going to save, and I'm going to say thank you very much for watching part one of Resident Evil 7. Do you want to see a part two? If you do, let me know by commenting down below, or liking or disliking the video if you don't, alright? See you next time. Oh, right! <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Oh, I dread to think what you got in the fridge. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, spooky. Why are we in hell this time? <laughs> Who's holding the camera? The I guess it's on my shoulder or something. You first. Me? <laughs> oh, right, right. You first. Yeah, good excuse. Yeah, you know what, I'll give you that one. That's, uh, that's not bad as far as they go. What do you see? What is it? Uh, the end of the Blair Witch Project, I think. Mia? M wait, really? Has it really been three years? Yeah. <laughs> but you know what, I suppose time flies when you're having fun. Oh god. Ah! Oh. Resist! Oh, fucking... <laughs> Resist more! Oh wait, hold that down or... Oh shit, did I not resist?